Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install a speed test tracker on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, which is a third party app store supported by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Lab. So, I'm going over to installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So this is what I'll be installing today. A speed test tracker, self-hosted internet performance tracking application to run speed test check checks against the Oculus speed test service. It has a really nice UI. And um, you can see right here, I did do another video on an older version of speed test tracker before this uh, person decided to take it over and ma make it look better and work better. So a little bit about Big Bear Casa OS. It's a third party app store that is uh, supported by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. So um, we're gonna need to set it up in our Casa OS. Uh, here's all the apps that it supports. And I do have a video just on setting up the Big Bear Casa OS, but I'm gonna go over setting it up in this video. So you do need uh, the Casa OS to be 0.4.4 .4 or newer. So, uh, and now we're going to get to setting up Big Bear Cost OS now. So uh, we need to um, scroll down to App Store and the, uh, the URL, and then we're gonna need to copy this URL right here um, so we can add it to our App Store and our Cost OS. So I'm going to go over to Cost OS now and get this set up. So now I'm going to start on the, the Cost OS dashboard and I'm gonna to go to App Store right here. And then I'm going to go over to Add Source. A text input will pop out. And we're gonna paste in the URL that I copied over in Big Bear Cost OS. And then I'm gonna say Add. Then now you have 95 apps. So you can also refresh the page so we get the categories to show up. So this category over here, it's Big Bear Cost OS. You can click on it. And you can see all the apps that are supported in the Big Bear Cost OS third-party app store. Um, you can also go up here to search. So speed test. And then you, you see it right here. And you can know it's from the Big Bear Cost OS app store because it has this, the category set on it. So now we'll look at uh, the Docker Compose and getting this installed. So now we're going to start on the Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. I'm going to go into apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to Speed Test Tracker right here. And then I'm going to go into Docker and Pose. So now I'm going to explain the Docker and Pose. So the name of the um, COS OS app is called Big Bear Speed Test Tracker. I'm going to set some services. And the service underneath the services is called Speed Test Tracker. The container name is called Speed Test Tracker. And then I'm going to set some ports. So 8080 on the host. And 80 in the container, and 8443 on the host, and 443 on the container. Now, if these collide on the host side right here, you can cha change them to another port. Um, so I'm going to set some environment variables. So the PUID is 1000, and the PGID is 1000. So that's who owns the files. And then the DB connection is right here. So this should align with the DB down here, the credentials. So now I'm gonna set a, a, a time zone. So I'm gonna set it to Chicago and um, you can set it to anything you want right here. Um, so the volumes are ETC local time and then ETC local time and then data, app data, and then a dynamic variable for an app ID. And that's coming from this one right here so config so this is on the host side and this is on the host side and then in the container side is right here so the image is coming from github and you know that because it's coming from this year right here and um this is the uh, do a docker uh, image and then here's the docker tag right here 0 0.13.1 and then I'm going to set re restart policy. So unless stop. 
So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set depends on DB because it depends on this to be up. And then I'm going to have Maria DB. So it's coming off Docker Hub. And you know that because there's no URL like this one. You know, like this one right here. So it's coming off Docker Hub by default. And then ver a version 10 tag. So 10. And um, I'm going to set restart always. So if you stop it for any reason, it will always try to restart. No, no matter what. And then the environment variables, so MariaDB database is speed test tracker, and then MariaDB user is cost OS, MariaDB password is cost OS, and MariaDB uh, random root password is true. So these should align with that one right here. And then so this uh, uh so this speed test tracker container can connect to this DB to store data in it. So I'm going to set some volumes, so data, app data, the, dyna uh, the dynamic app ID, and that's gotten from here. And then, um, so a, my a MySQL, so this is on the host side, right here, the host side, and then in the container side is var lib MySQL. Okay, now I'm going to set some cost of OS specific configuration. So X co cost OS, and then the architectures that the uh, Docker container supports right here. So uh, AMD 64, ARM, uh, ARM 64, and the main service of the application is Speed Test Tracker. So that would align with this one right here. So this name right here should match the main right here. And then the description of the cont a container and then the, the tagline the developer of the speed test tracker and then the author of the docker and pose right here and then the icon is gotten off right here and then the thumbnail is em empty and title and then tips so i set t a tips right here and it's before the install so it'll pop up a little box that says username admin at example.com and password is password and then um, the category is set to Big Bear Cost OS. So this makes it to where it's easy to see all the Big Bear Cost OS apps by, by clicking the category. Um, so the port map is 8080. So this port map should match up here, 8080 on the host side. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now we're going to get to installing Speed Test Tracker. So, I'm going to go to the App Store, and then I'm going to go to the Categories, and then the Big Bear Class OS. And I'm going to scroll down to Speed Test Tracker right here. And then I'm going to press install. And then these are the default credentials. So we'll use those to sign into the new system. So next steps. And then I'm going to continue in background and wait till it installs. So what this is doing is it's downloading the, the, the Docker conta containers, uh, the speed test tracker, and then it's downloading the MariaDB, extracting them all and getting them set up. And uh, I finally running Docker Compose up, and it should be up and running. So now that we got it installed, we can get to looking at the uh, container options. So now I'm going to show you the container options. So if we go up these vertical dots right here, you can open the in, into the web UI. You can show tips. So you, you can have it down here to where you can just put in one, two, three. And then there you go. And then it restarts the container. It says speed test tracker is okay now. So it's kind of like a notepad. So now you can see it saved. You can go over to settings right here. And you can see your MariaDB set uh, settings. You can change some of these and press the save button. You can come up to this tab right here. And you can switch to your speed test tracker container. And you can change some of this. And you can press the save button. 
You can also go over here to terminal and logs. So you can go into the terminal in the container. You can also see the logs right here. Gr a great for debugging. And um, you, you can export the Docker Compose from here. So I'm gonna go out of here. And um, you can check for updates on the current tag. It will not change the tag. And um, you, you can uninstall, you can restart, and you can power off and on. So that's the container options. So now I'm going to show you how to go to your files. So you can go in the files app right here. Cost OS makes this extremely easy. So you can go in the app data, and then you can see Big Bear uh, speed test. So you, you can also check mark this and download, copy, cut, delete, cancel. You can also go into it and you can see the config. You can also go, go into the MySQL and see the MariaDB. You can also go into the web and you can see the SSL. So um, you, you can check mark these. You can also go into it, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and delete. So that's a little bit how to see the files in CosOS. So now we're gonna go in the UI. So you can either open it from here. You can also open it from here. So I'm gonna go into it. And um, for some reason, this has got weird UI right here, but you can go into it and click it and you can go to the sign in right here. So we'll put our a default username and password in that was in the tip section. So now I'm gonna sign in. And you, you can see that uh, you can have graphs right here, the latest download, the latest upload, and the latest ping. You can go ahead and queue a speed test. And then you can see results when they come in right here. You can add users and you can edit the user down here, view it and edit it. You can also go in the general settings. You can change the site name. You can change the display time zone. You can change the time format. You can change the speed test schedule and you can get a Chrome generator right here. You can also set speed test servers right here. You can also set up an influx DB right here. You can um, set notifications so you can enable database notifications. You can enable mail notifications and telegram notifications and then press save changes. You can also change thresholds so you can change the absolute thresholds. Do not ta take into account previous history and cannot be triggered each test. So you can change some metrics right here. So um, now you can delete the data if you'd like. And um, that's a little bit about it. So you can see that the speed test results came in and download and upload and the ping. And you can see the graph is working. So that's a little bit about the speed test tracker UI. So I just went over step by step on getting speed test tracker uh, installed, running, and explained the Docker and Pose, uh, different things. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So Stay tuned for more.